wonder why Doc didn't take any of these with him. Does nature contrive it so that even with a time machine, you can't intervene to prevent your own conception, for example? Fish tank? I never knew Doc raised fish. Doc's fish had weird taste and decor. I kind of like Doc. Jennifer liked that. She's into old stuff. Make some noise. It took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. running this sale anyway. Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly. Do you think dreams can predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff, but I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. What did you dream? Oh, just <clears throat> weird stuff about Doc. Well, that's understandable, don't you think? I guess, but I feel like it was telling me something. What's Biff doing here? He wasn't a friend of Doc's. It's a public sale, Marty. Everyone's allowed. Even Biff. I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know... Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? I hate to say it, but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. You got Doc wrong. Sure, maybe he's not so good with money. That's that just because his mind's always on bigger things. But he's still a straight-up guy. He'd never run away from his problems. Well, you know him better than I do, son. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his stuff. Maybe you should try to find some things to remember him by before Biff grabs them all. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad.